Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I came on today to share with you this very pinkalicious little folio that I created. I had such a good time making it. It was just fun to do. Look at how pretty that is. I see more folios in my future. I actually just used a, a piece of cardstock, letter size cardstock, and I made about half inch gussets and this folded it up and then I covered it uh, with this beautiful fabric that I've had in my stash for a long time. Isn't it pretty? So I just covered the cardstock with that in the front and both sides, covered both sides with that. And then on the front here, let me untie this. I use this really pretty pink lace as the closure, so cute. And then I put on the front this really beautiful card I got from Juana Hudson. Thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. I put that on the top or the front. And then I use this beautiful applique to cover this side of the folio. Isn't it pretty? It's just so pretty. I didn't even want to snip it up. And usually I snip up these sort of things, but it was perfect to take over the whole back side. Um, and then I added this pretty, this reminds me of like ballerina lace. It's so pretty, like a little tutu. I put that all around the bottom. It just makes such a fluffy little, it's so cute. And then I had some snippets in my stash that I added. I put this beautiful pink lace along the top that I have had forever. I don't even remember where I got that. I love it. I think you can see, probably see it better here. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. So when you open it up, I love how this applique just comes all the way across. It's so big. It was perfect, perfect for this project. So I used um, a little snippet here to cover up where I attached the tie. Isn't it cute? And then I made two sets of pockets. I used this adorable lace right here for one. And then let me take this out. And then I used this lace for the next pocket. So in this pocket, I just have um, one of these definitions from my porch prints uh, printed out on fabric and then sewn onto a piece of uh, canvas, actually. I've got it on a bulb pin with this beautiful piece of bling. How pretty that is. And then um, a scrap piece of lace. It's so pretty. And then just a cute little uh, journaling card. That's in that pocket. And then in this back pocket here, just look at how cute it is. I can't, it's adorable. I actually used a glassine bag that was dyed pink that I'm pretty sure I got from Jennifer at a Trace of Sparkle when she had some pink dyed things in her store. I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. So I just put a snippet of some eyelet fabric on here um, and another one of the definition words. This one says joy and of course sewed around it. And then I added this pink applique, which actually I got from Angel Dream Crafts and a piece of bling and it opens up like this. I put some music paper and some washi. Uh, this is actually a little snippet from a Trace of Sparkles Lace Masterboard Kit. So that just flips open like that. Then I used uh, my fabric tabs. I had a good time using my scrap fabric to make these little page tabs. They're so cute. So I just put in, I got into my scrap bin. This is a scrap from, um, ooh, I love this paper company and Lemoncraft. It's a snippet of Lemoncraft with some washi right there because my snip bin was getting a little out of control so it's like I need to start using the snippets so that's what I'm doing so here is another fabric tab I made with another piece of lemon craft paper pretty sure that one's lemon craft too and they both just go in there like that that's so cute so that goes in that pocket Let me set those off to the side and then it opens up some more this is actually a tag that i got in a kit that i bought from doreen from ooh la la vintage treasures i do believe it was doreen's kit 
and it's just cute. So I just inked it up, added some washi tape, and this is the lace bow it came with. Isn't it cute? So you could journal on the back. Adorable. And then back here, I made this journaling card with a fabric rose image I had in my stash. And I just put some snippets of fabric and lace behind it and sewed it onto this card, which is Stamperia, I believe, Stamperia paper. Another piece on my craft bin, and then I popped on this adorable butterfly applique. Isn't it cute? So that's what was in that pocket. And then this pocket over here, we have this little snippet dangle on this rose gold um, clip with a pearl. This stuff is so pretty. I got a roll of it, I think, at Hobby Lobby. So I just put a piece of that on there. Some really pretty fabric. And then a piece of this lace. And another journal card that has some paint splatters on it. So cute. And then in this pocket over here is, uh, this is tilde paper that I had in my uh, scrap bin. And I put this really beautiful lace. I sewed it on the edges. And then um, I filled it with some scrap paper that I had. I actually sewed the pages together in the middle and then I just tied it into here with some pink ribbon. But this I think was also from the pink dyed kit that I bought from Jennifer at a Trace of Sparkle. Pretty sure that's what that is. And I've had it in my scrap bin for a long time. So I just made a cute little notebook out of it. So isn't she pretty? Listen, this was such a good time <laughs> to make. And I just think it's so pretty. I love how it turned out. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts about it because I think I want to make a few more. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And you can find a link to my Etsy below where this will be. If it's still available, you can find it there. And thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate the views and the comments more than I can probably adequately express to you. So a big thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.